These theories will make you question everything. So remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's check them out. Life is hay and arsenic are the two most powerful poisons that have been introduced to us, and that yeah. stops us from assimilating our nutrients no matter how well you eat. And it also, of course, caused cancer. We were just inundated with poisons. It's aluminum from the air, that's the main one, the arsenic in the waters. Um, this is why I say clean your own water, have a special arsenic filter, and detox your body, pesticides, glyphosate, all kinds of things like that. So I love detox baths. It can take radiation out of your body too. Glyphosate, you can get out of your body with um, L-glycine powder, um, like 4,000 milligrams twice a day for two months. It kicks it off your gut wall. Glyphosate and arsenic are the two. How do I take, like, I don't even know which way is up anymore, y'all. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like, it's so disheartening at this point, man. I don't know what to eat. I don't know what to breathe. I don't know what to drink. I don't know what to wash in. Like, it, it's scary out here, bro. And you know one thing I, I realized, I noticed, like, I looked at my grandmother this past weekend when she was here visiting. She's 88, finna be 89, bro. And, and... I told Queen this. I was like, I whispered to her. I said, have you ever seen my grandmother drink water? And she stopped and she contemplated and she thought about it. And she went back through a little Rolodex in her mind of the memories. And she said, no, I haven't. So when everybody be like, oh, do this, do this, or you'll have this. And if you don't want this, you should drink, eat and do this. My grandma, I haven't seen her drink water. She drinks a cup of tea every day. She used canned milk, carnation milk, as she has, that she puts in her coffee. She eats a meal here or there. She still eats pig feet. So it's like, bro, uh, when you're talking to me about some of this stuff, man, I look at my grandma, she's 89 and has better health than most people I know. Reveal the plan of what's gonna happen next. So I can't say it, but I'm telling you, I know what's going to happen next. How much metal you have in your body will affect you when this, this thing happens. It has to do with frequency. How do you do? Okay, so, so that I stay safe and I can come back and I stay alive, I want to tell you something. I will give you a hint of what, what's, what, what he showed me. It's going to happen. And you have to get rid of these metals in your body. And it could happen tomorrow. It could happen. But they're going to say it's something else. You're going to have to do your own thinking about this. I don't want to get in trouble. But just stick a piece of foil in a microwave and um, picture that in your body. And now you know the devil's plan. The bottom line is you got to get this out of your body. What? Whoa, what is that? First of all, what is that going to do to my microwave? I want to see it. Is there a video I can go look and see where somebody else did it? That way I ain't got to destroy my microwave. You know what I mean? And what are we now, Magneto? How do I get metals out of my body? Like, huh? Like, again, I don't know which way is up anymore. And I don't know what I should be doing, man. Like, this is crazy, bro. Punch the truth here. Uh, just another thing to be mindful of. I was surfing TikTok and... So the whistleblower says that uh, the heavy metals in our body are going to cook us from the inside out. That's what it's... So I don't know if it has anything to do with the 5G uh, frequency, but whatever heavy metals we have in our body, so when you turn on this frequency, it's going to literally be like uh, aluminum foil in a microwave, but inside our bodies. So... The guy is saying, whoa, green drinks. Green and uh, drinks. there's a lot of stuff that removes metal toxicity from our bodies. When I went to the biological dentist in Mexico a long, long time ago uh, to remove, I got my amalgam fillings removed and my, he recommended, um, it was cilantro. I was juicing or making shakes with cilantro for a couple weeks. But yeah, there's a handful of things that remove that toxicity. Uh, but that was the one specifically given to me. So yeah, another thing to be mindful of. Green drinks, removing heavy metals from your body. 
Otherwise, we're going to get cooked from the inside out, and their excuse is going to be something else. Obviously. Something else. Poncho Truder here. Uh, just another thing to be mindful of. I was... So that's what he meant in the last slide by saying that? Like, bro, is this something wrong with us? Are we all crazy for thinking this stuff or, or listening to people say this stuff? Are we? Or should we really take heed and pay attention to this? I've never been more confused in my life. Because I know people look at us crazy if we put trust into these people that are telling us that. And then there's people that look at us crazy if we don't by stocking what people are saying about this. So it's like you're caught in the middle. You don't know which way to go. And you darn if you do, darn if you don't. So you're like, whatever. At this point, you know what? That's when you get fed up and you be like, F it. You know what? It, it is what it is, fam. Like, <laughs> I, I, I just got to live each day and just enjoy life until I can't. Like, wow. And Australia is facing a lot of things with supplements and vitamins being banned and things like that. So this all relates. So this is in the 1980s. And so he decides to put this into uh, a capsule form. And he calls up a company and says, I would like to capsulate borax and I would like to be able to give it out to people. And they never heard of this at that time, right? They never heard that people would be capsulating borax. The, the companies were actually very confused in which he reached out to. But as he reached out to them, he basically said, well, the reason I want to do this is because I learned that it's very healing for osteoporosis, arthritis, and anything related to inflammation, right? So those three things. So as he basically presented this to these companies, all of a sudden, within about about a month's time of him trying to do this, all of a sudden, all of his work was pretty much removed. He was fined, I think, like fifty thousand or a hundred thousand dollars, and I believe he was put in jail. And all of the information related to the borax and the borax conspiracy document. This has all the information, but basically, it was instantaneously removed. Right, because and Australia is facing a lot. How many of y'all remember borax? I remember my parents talking about using it. Borax, borax, and like different things they would use, but I forgot what they used it for. I forgot what they used it for. Was it to clean the? It wasn't to clean the pipes, was it? What What did they use borax for back in the day, man? I forgot what they used it for. Was it like on your feet? I just remember hearing my mom or grandma saying, put some borax on it. You know what I mean? Or maybe it was like put it in the tub with some borax or something like that. I don't, I don't know. Long, 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 long time ago. Long time ago. But how many of y'all remember borax? I don't hear it too often anymore. So when you go out in that sun, you get real hot and then you start sweating. That's your body releasing all the toxic from you that's not supposed to be in you. That's what sweat is. It's not normal. Just like taking a it's not normal. We didn't anciently, but we have intelligent avatars. So if you put boys in you, it got to come back out of you. That's what a bowel movement is. The bowels aren't supposed to move. You're not supposed to sweat. But you go in the sun long enough, you're going to start breaking out of sweats. Now go on a fast and clean your diet and see how much you sweat. <clears throat> people that's healthy, even when they're working out, they don't sweat as hard as a person that's unhealthy. Let an unhealthy go anything like they're going to be busting their sweats. The more you sweat, that means that's how much more toxic you, toxins you have in your body. I never really thought of, I never really heard them speak about the bowel movement. Now, the sweat, I've heard that. You know what I mean? I mean, I think uh, it, that was pretty common. A lot of people knew about that, but the whole bowel movement, you're not, your bowels aren't supposed to move. Like, how? I got questions, fam. I got questions. And maybe he he might be putting me on the right path for some things I need to think of. You know what I mean? Because I'm all about 
cleaning out your system because boy, I put a hurting on my system. You know what I mean? When and this past holidays, yeah, me and Queen was just going over our 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 uh, inventory, inventory. You know what I mean? Looking at our alcohol, liquor stock, and different things like that. But we put a hurting over these holidays. You hear me? But we don't go hard all year long, every day, 365. You know what I mean? It's it's holiday times amongst family and friends. It's it's maybe when we go out or on vacation and stuff like that. You know? And then we do partake in fast. Like, we do the Daniels fast. I think we're getting ready to do a 21-day fast. So we do different things to kind of, you know, rejuvenate our system you know, detox a lot of things out of it that we've put in there. You know what I mean? But like I said, I don't know what, what to do these days, though. Everything else I'm hearing. You nodded your head when I said the scam thing. Is alkaline water a scam? Yes, no. Scam, capital S-C-A-M. Look, what is alkali what, where did this alkali thing come from? So our blood pH is 7.4. Above seven is alkali, below seven is acidic, okay? So it is slightly alkali. And so some guy, and I, I interviewed him actually, um, just before he went to jail, we'll discuss why in a second, um, um, just before he went to jail, the guy who founded the alkali diet, okay, a guy called Robert Young, Dr. Robert Young, um, who said that, well, if we have um, an alkali blood, in order to keep ourselves healthy, yes, an al alkali blood is healthy blood, we need to eat alkali foods. This is his, his, his thesis. The problem is it completely ignores the presence of the stomach. Now, the stomach, as far as a compartment in our body goes, is the most acidic compartment in our body. It's pH 1.5. It's like battery acid. But then all the food we eat goes into our stomach, gets acidified. And then as it goes into our small intestine, it gets neutralized back to seven again. This is just biology. So nothing we eat, everything we eat is acidified and neutralized. Nothing we eat will change the pH of our blood. That's the first, that's the first thing. So if you drink the water, it becomes pH 1.5 and pH 7. By the time the water is absorbed into our body, it's pH 7, whatever its starting pH was. The second problem, however, is the taxonomy, is what they consider alkali and acidic. So I'll just give one example. They consider citrus fruits, lemons, to be alkali. Except lemons contain citric acid, it is a citrus fruit, and vitamin C, which is otherwise called ascorbic acid. It is an acidic fruit. So how can it be considered itself alkali? I don't even understand that. There's a famous, I don't want to get myself into trouble, but there's a, there's a, there's a famous image of a certain actress who runs a certain website, beginning with G and ending with P, you know, where she's drinking her high pH water and squeezing in lemon juice. Now, what happens when you put acid into a high pH water? The alkali diet makes absolutely uh, no sense whatsoever. Got me around here buying all this expensive water, man. This, these, these waters ain't cheap. Look, I just had one. You might have seen me drinking one on... I don't have the bottle with me. I think I just fi finished one up. The little black and white bottle, what's the name of it? I forget, it come in the little black box when you order them by the case. And we order them by the case. And those jokers are expensive, but we're thinking we're drinking the high value water, you know, the pH is high. So this is going to be good for our body. I, at this point, man, I just feel like we doomed, man. I'm about to go back to eating, you know what I mean? Fried foods, pork chops, everything that, you know what I mean? Because at, at this point, they tell us something and then a few years down the line, they tell us, no, that ain't right. Who told you that? And they act like they never told us that. Or it was a scam. So I just put them in this bowl so I could like zoom in and check them out, see a little bit more because I'm a weirdo and I just set them aside because- What I is that? I didn't know. I mean, I believe I've never seen anything like this before. So, um, let's see. It looks like to have pinchers of some sort. You see that? Um, and they're hard because look at that, I mean, what is that? So, um, there's that. Parasite <laughs> cleanse? And then it also looks like it has, like, um, like 
underneath it, that's probably where it sucks onto your system or whatever. I don't know. Here's the other one. Which... So this is what the lady said was the orange. Or they both have these weird things, but here I gotta zoom in. Hold on. Okay, so when you zoom in, this one has like, it's got a pincher system right here um, where it would attach to your, dang it, this is so hard, um, attach to your body. Okay, so does anybody have any idea? It says, wondering why you have chronic illness, fatigue, headaches, bloating, weight gain, immune disease, nausea, food fixations, and more. What these little critters could be. I mean, they almost look like a sand shrimp. Almost. I mean... Besides, it looks like a an alien. And she's just poking it, just poking it. She ain't gonna be happy till it jump okay, up. So. There you have it. Um, not going to say it's an orange. Not, no idea what it is. So I Listen. So now I need a uh, metal detox, parasite detox. What other detox do I need? Do I still need to take laxatives throughout the year? I do those. Do I need a detox for the detox? Help me. I'm just, I, I just at this point, bro. And then you think back to like our ancestors to which they didn't have to deal with some of the type of food we eat these days. So you can't really say, you know, they never did this or had to do this. Why are we doing this? They also didn't have all these sprays and different things and the food being the way it is these days. So I get it. We have to do a little more maintenance. But dang, man, if I take any more laxatives or or, or cleanses and anything, my inside is going to be on the outside. <laughs> like, like, bro, like, fam, I'm going to be trying to figure out how to stuff my insides back in. If our bodies are highly polluted with heavy metals, theoretically, if we had a nuclear disaster, what the f*** would happen from all those gamma rays, right? All that radiation. What happens if you put tinfoil in a microwave? If our bodies are... Yo, this whole tin... Like, I'm going straight to look at tinfoil in the microwave. I got an idea what it's going to do, you know what I mean? But... It's nothing like seeing it for yourself. So I got to see it because everybody now today has talked about it and I've yet to see it. So I got to see it after this. I took an Epsom salt and Aztec clay detox bath. Y'all, why does this look like nanotechnology? That's a magnet. I wanted to make sure it was metal. I took an Epsom salt and Aztec clay detox. Yeah, that definitely looked like it could be some type of tracking device or something. Y'all better be careful what y'all taking these days, man. <laughs> what you putting in your body. Because, bro, that definitely looked like it could be, I don't know, an implant, some type of something device. This is important, and I'm glad someone said it. We all do need to heavy metal detox on a daily basis. If it's not falling out of the sky, it's coming in through our food, it's coming in through anything pharmaceutical, it's coming in through your tap water, your shower. It's coming in through your cookware. It's pretty much impossible to escape them. And I'm not saying that in like a fear mongering way. It's just our reality. 
but it's super important to just help your body release these heavy metals. I do the medical medium heavy metal detox smoothie pretty much every day. Smoothie? I noticed a huge shift in my brain fog after I started doing it. So if you're seeing this, look into getting those metals out of you. Get them out. Oh, okay. So I can get a, a smoothie now. I, I shouldn't say okay because smoothies these days are just as expensive as alcohol at a bar these days, bro. You know, the price of a shot these days? Yeah, smoothies is right up there with those. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I didn't know you could you can do smoothies. I should have known. They got smoothies for everything, man. If you have a flat tire on your car, they got a smoothie you can drink that that'll just, you know what I mean, inflate your tire. You just stand beside the tire and drink your smoothie, bro, and your tire will inflate. But they got a smoothie for everything. So I should have known that. Alexa, is the world going to change in September? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, yes, it is. Alexa. I had to hurry up and turn my Alexa off just then because she had already perked up and heard her name being called, man, and then she was ready to respond. You know what I mean? Listen, we're past September, so, bro, it didn't happen. Sorry for everybody who was was worried. You know what I mean? I'm sorry they got y'all all in an uproar over that. Did you know that companies aren't required by law? In fact, sometimes it's voluntary to disclose warnings about chronic health and environmental hazards and the potential harms they carry? Let's talk about cleaners and soaps today, friends, as everyone washes their houses and hands. There may be some things of which you're not aware, some things of which you may want to care. We have discussed why fragrance is an unhealthy option, but there are other ingredients that should be approached with caution. I wonder if it bothers you the way it bothers me that they use all these toxic chemicals for us to think we're clean. Did you know that in 2017, the FDA stated they must ban the use of 24 antibacterial agents? 24 different things they were throwing in our soap, trying to convince the public that antibacterial was the way to go. Two of the biggest culprits at hand were triclocarbon and triclosan. And in a few years, these two agents were found in over 75 Did you know that- That's what scares me, man. That's what scares me. You know, maybe you have a spouse that when she goes to the store, goes grocery shopping, before she goes, she does her research on the soaps, the antibacterials. But for the most part, man, we just go and grab. You know, several years back, I heard that about deodorant. Deodorant that you grew up using your entire life is now not good for you. It's not good for your body, your skin, different things. Don't get me wrong, I still use deodorant. But I heard that at one particular time. That certain deodorants was causing like you to have certain problems and health issues and stuff like that. So again, you excuse me when I say, what can we use these days that it's not going to affect us? Another interesting thing of the placement of the Teslas is there are security cameras right here. And what's interesting is they're in those lights. They're the same cameras that are also in those cars. Things get weird. Off the charts. Radiation? Just gonna walk around here, show you guys how much EMF. This thing's just going crazy. Right? Look at that. It's going so high. Shouldn't even be standing here. But as people charge their car, that radiation cooks the body. That's why they're pushing this. Now, what's interesting is we look around here and it's just an open parking lot. So there's no towers. But this whole system is all linked up to the towers, and each car is also acting like a tower, emitting harmful radiation. Another interesting thing of the placement. Now I'm trying to calm myself down. Trying to calm myself down, because what y'all end up doing is coming on and shooting this whole theory down, saying he's not using the device the correct way. You know what I mean? And then I'll be like, oh man, I got worked up for nothing. Happens to me all the time. You know what I mean? So let me calm myself and say, is has anybody verified this or is this true? Let me ask that question. Pose the question. You know what I mean? Has anybody verified that? Because if that's the case, then that is crazy. That amount of radiation and things or, or whatever is, is seeping that we could be breathing or coming in contact with. That's a lot. 
too much. And that's scary because everything will possibly be electric by what, 2030? I'm on herbs and food for 23 days, but I find I'm constipated. It can happen. Sometimes when you go on a cleanse, um, you might be constipated because the body is in a cleansing mode. So I found that the, that the body will often make uh, symptoms worse or it will shut off an area temporarily. Shut, when I say shut off, I mean um, it will lower the function of an area for a bit as it cleanses. So because think about it one way, if you're in your house and you're trying to fix um, like your plumbing, you have to shut off the water supply, right? Otherwise you can't fix the, the pipes. So the body is similar in a similar, similar way. When you're trying to heal something, um, it will shut off the supply or the, it will lower the supply down and it, it, will, it will remedy it, then fix it and everything is fine. So if you don't see bowel movements in a day, use animals or use um, drink um, celery juice, like a, a two or three uh, glasses celery of it. Juice. That will push everything out for you. I'm on herbs. Celery juice is that work, fam. <laughs> How many of y'all drink celery juice? Once you get past the taste and you get used to it, because I've gotten used to it, I can pour it straight out of those little green bottles we buy. And those things are, exp talk about expensive. Oh my gosh, at one point in time, we were getting them back in the day for like five. Now they're up to like 10 maybe or something like that. I don't know, I have to ask Queen, but she always yelling down, you want celery juice? And I'd be like, yeah, she'd be like, are you sure you gonna drink it? Cause I ain't gonna waste my money on it if we not. You know what I mean? But yeah, celery juice, that'll get you going. That'll get you going, bro. I've seen people put out videos saying I had to slow down drinking celery juice because I it kept sending me to the bathroom, kept cleaning me out, <laughs> to which I was like tired of going to the bathroom, fam. Is is that is that work? I can I can confirm celery juice is that work, man. But listen, man, y'all get at me in the comment section, bro, and let me know what y'all thought about all these detoxification conspiracies of detox and different things from metals to parasites to all this kind of stuff that could be potentially in our body what can we do or have you just been like man it is what it is i'm just gonna live my life man and enjoy life and it is what it is let me know in the comment section all right and uh leave a like share the video and stick around and stay tuned man till next one i'm gone